Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh hi, we're on the air. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. How I've you been waiting do- all evening. How sure. you, do- how you doing? Hi, how here. you doing? You're there in Nevada. Let's see here. Yeah, in Nevada. Last time we talked to you, uh, you had a problem with your uh, with your audio, which is still not great, but the, not picture, the best, huh? picture is terrific. Uh, and then... The whole thing went out. Your battery died. Was that it? Yeah, the Zoom thing sucks the battery out of this phone. It's insane. So I tried doing one uh, with the San Francisco comic on uh, uh, Monday, and uh, my battery died before I got on the show. <laughs> but did you try recharging before you started? Oh, I recharge all the time, but it, by the time they get to me, it's like it's thirty percent, and then uh, I right, get to be here. <laughs> Right, yeah, so. Okay, well, we'll just uh, h- hope that we don't uh, lose power here. Okay, that's fine. That's, good. that's perfect. Perfecto. 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 Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I, by the way, for people who are watching, normally I have people side by side, right? Uh-huh. But I can't do that anymore. Because now Zoom only allows me to put people this way when I only have uh-huh. two people. Now, if I start adding people, it'll probably look different. But yeah, I don't know. Corner. I give up. You know, I give up. Oh, I never got along with electronics myself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so how have you been? All right, you know, starting. Uh, I'm downsizing. I'm selling all my records that I bought when I was a young one, and I want to see if I can get for a couple of film or Reese programs I had that yeah. I found I didn't know I had. So I mean, I'm downsizing all my collectibles. Everything must go. Everything must go. Call Friendly Steven. What, one of my Top gift- Hat 4, 703. Top Hat 4, 703. Ask for Miss Buxton. You know what so happened? I'm just selling some stuff, and uh, I don't need any more, and uh, I don't want to buy some old used record albums or fucked up covers. Yeah. You want to be an ounce of Mexican weed on it with the tweaks and the speeds and all that stuff. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, so uh, 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 let me see here. Uh, uh, well, you know, you live in, in, in Las Vegas. Vegas by the and, sea. And, yeah. know, and I got to tell you, one of my, one of my guilty pleasures mm-hmm. is a show called Pawn Stars. Oh, I love that show. That's <laughs> where I'm, I'm going to that store to throw my film on schedules. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Why? Is that where you went to try and sell them? No, I went to another record store. Hold on. Something, something happened here. Oh, come on. What happened? Oh, but now we lost Hold you. Uh, uh, there yeah, there we go. You're fine. Here we go. You're Back. fine. You're fine. Hey, anyway. Uh, no, I'm going to go to that store and show my film more schedules. I don't think they want to buy my beat up old records, but I want to show my film more schedules yeah. and see if I can deal number one with those guys because I love the TV show. And uh, see if I can get any money for them. So yeah, but you know the thing is, when I watch that show, if somebody goes in and, and they if something gets estimated at five hundred dollars, you know they're going to offer them two fifty. Oh, exactly. Yeah, because they got to make a profit too, which I understand. But so, well, that's the Sphinx. That's worth fifty million dollars. So I'll give you fifty dollars for them. Well, what, whatever uh, happened to the old days? It's a pawn. <laughs> it's a pawn shop, right? It's uh, now we now you lost your audio. Oh boy, you lost your audio. And now you you got your fingers over the picture. It's like I'm dealing with my with an old lady here. What what, what what's wrong with you? Hello, oh, oh, there, 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 there you go. Don't turn your no, audio off. This is wonderful. You can't hear me now. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. The phone rang, and then everything went out. So I, I, I don't even want that call. Well, tell people not to call. 
Don't call me ever, ever. <laughs> Text me. I don't take calls anymore anyway. It's old fashioned. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, and, and, a flame me out through my window on a smoke signal or something. What yeah, was I talking about just now? Of course, my my oh, zoom stars, my zoom isn't working right here. Yeah. You know, so that's that's Please. that's, that's a dog. problem. Dog. Dog. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, so the, we're talking about the 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 place on Pawn Stars. Yeah, Golden Silver, or whatever it's called. Golden Silver, whatever. And Three miles. Yeah, and they're always, you know, I mean, I'm a, I wouldn't go in there if I had something that was worth five hundred dollars and they want to offer me two fifty. Eh, go screw yourself, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I, yeah, I'll see. I'll see what I can do because I don't feel like going online or anything like that. But, but we can go, stuff, so. they can go cheap because they're on TV. You know. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, so I mean, that's true. And I'm but sure they get really a lot like of it. To get a lot of business as a result of that TV show. Have you ever been to that I'm pawn so shop? Have you ever been to that pawn shop or you yeah, not? I've been to the guy's barbecue place and I've seen him there and I've said hello, but uh, I've never been to the pawn shop. So He owns a barbecue? Who? The, the... Oh, yeah, it's a barbecue right across the way. So, yeah. He's got his hands in a few pies. He yeah, no, he's, he's also doing. got some kind of museum or something or some kind of gallery where he's selling some of the more oh, expensive yeah. items. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. yeah. Those guys are doing pretty well with that little show. Oh, they're hustlers, man. They the, work hard. The, 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 so. the only thing I can't stand about that show is is that the guy who's the dad, I can't remember his name now, uh, you know, the the, the, the older, oh, yeah, the the older guy. Um, he died. Yeah, he, he thinks he's funny. <laughs> Who the, 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 the grandfather, the guy with the hair? No, 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 no. The grandfather's dead. Oh, yeah, he's good and bad. He's yeah. just Dennis Julius Caesar. But the father. Oh, Rick. Yeah. Rick, okay, Rick, the ball guy. Rick. Okay, Rick. I forgot his name. Okay. He thinks he's funny. He's always well, he pulling these. At his own he's, he's, he, and he always laughs at his own jokes, too. That's the other yeah, thing. You do, yeah. Two things you don't do in comedy. You don't laugh at your own jokes. Although, you know who does? Bill Maher. And so, now tell me this: You're a comedian, right? <laughs> is the reason a comedian laughs at their own joke because they want to tell the audience this is funny because they don't believe it is? It's either that or they just like it and it makes them laugh. So I've done, I've done stuff that made me crack up on stage, and uh, you know, and uh, yeah, but, but you but, said you it know, off the cuff, right? And then it suddenly made you laugh yeah, because you said yeah. it. But I'm <laughs> saying. Yeah. You, you know you're going to say this line, and then you laugh at it afterward. Yeah. I, I find that annoying. Yeah. You know, I find that very annoying. And in the case of Rick's case, his jokes aren't even funny. So just, <laughs> just you know, I just like the pawn part of it. And also, this is a pawn shop, right? Yeah. You remember what pawn shops were? They got the three balls and Rod Steiger behind the cage. Let me tell you something. The Nazis left up my family and now you want me to play that saxophone for money? I can't believe it. Yeah, well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Pawn shops, the, the, the reason they call them pawn shops is you went in and you pawned something like, uh, yeah. I want to pawn this remote, right? Yeah. Okay, so I go and I pawn the remote. They give me a pawn ticket. Now, as soon as I can come back with the money to pay them back, uh-huh, with interest, I get my remote back. Yeah. They don't do any of that at this pawn shop. They call it a pawn shop. They call it pawn stars, but they're not pawning anything. People, people have pawn stuff there. Not too many. Most people want to sell stuff or buy stuff, but uh, they have pawn stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, 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 it's, uh, I just, I want a good old fashioned pawn shop, you know, there you go. where good I go in time. and I try to get my stuff back. Yeah. Yeah. They come to see Ron Steiger. How much is that accordion in the window? You may ask. Let me tell you what's more than you can afford. So don't be asking me for the accordions I have. Get a saxophone. They're a lot cheaper. <laughs> that's for you and me. Nobody's going to get that. Nobody's going to get it. The pawn, the, the pawn, uh, well, the pawn broker. It was a big picture. I think it was they nominated really for an Academy work. Award. Didn't yeah, Rod but, Steiger win an Academy Award for that picture? Well, he should have. He was a very good actor. I think he might have won one for uh, in the Heat of the Night. The heat of the I'm Night, he won for it. Yeah, yeah. He didn't win for that. And that was, uh, he was really yeah, good. Birds of Thames, we don't get too many of your kind here in Mississippi. And if we don't, we whip them. All right, enough with the Rod Steiger. <laughs> I'm going to talk like him for the rest of the day. <laughs> I, I, I never knew many people who did a Rod Steiger, to tell you the damn uh, truth. I think you know. John Biner, I say so. 
or people who even it. wanted to do a Rod Steiger. <laughs> who wants to do a Rod Steiger? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so so uh, you're living in a new place now because you Got a new place. You had some kind of falling out with the person who. My landlord was crazy. She tried to make me to screw me over, so I left. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, so the, the, this was a, uh, uh, you had to move out and so you got a new place. How is the new place? Smaller? I like it a lot. I'll show it to you. Let me show you. Let me give you the tour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, what, what are you looking at? Here's my, uh, here's some of the couch that the cats chewed up. I think he's looking at the couch here. Yeah. Here's my, is that my wall of greatness? I don't know. I'm just walking around here. Let's go to the kitchen. Yeah, uh, here's the kitchen area. Just a little kitchen area here. Yeah, very nice. Kitchen stuff. Area. There's yeah. my cat. Yeah, and there's another cat, and there's another one. And here's the bedroom and the bathroom and the closet and blah blah blah. And, and the, there you have. And, and the computer that doesn't work yet. And well, and here's where JFK screws all the other women in his life. Uh, so how many bedrooms do you have? You have one bedroom, right? One. That's all I need. I'm one guy. Yeah, and your cats. And my cats, yes, for me and them. How are they taking to the new place? They, they got used to it quickly. That's that's good because cats aren't good that way. Cats are not good you though. Guys, like I brought them, they moved on the way here in the yeah. cages. But once I let them out of the cages, they go, okay, they explored around, and now they they run the place. They wow. tell me what to do. Oh, excuse me. Mm. That's good. Wow, that's amazing. That's terrific. So I like it. I like it. It's uh, I'm, I'm, it's a regular electronic gate that opens and closes with a remote control. There's no guard there. Shh, let me see your papers, too. So uh, Jews don't like gates with guards there, but they might have a simpler time. So, uh, you know, I, I like it much better here. I'm in Koreatown. I'm eight minutes from the strip. It takes me eight minutes to drive there. So everything's good. Yeah, everything's good. But you're not working, are you? I mean, come on. Uh, you're not I working. Do it too, man. I, I'm broken than. Hey, I'm broken than Tina Turner's nose on her wedding night to hike with But, uh, you know, I'm getting by. That's why I'm going to sell some of my stuff to help myself out there. And uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I think that uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're in good shape at least that way. Now we got to get your computer working again. I know. I got to get that. Well, I got a few bucks. I'm going to take it in somewhere. And that they still well, here's the do. problem he's got. If anybody wants to help Stephen with this, uh, uh, just call seven 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 Steve. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> uh, he um, y y you you forgot your password. I've only had four in my whole life, and I used all of them on this thing, and it won't let me in. No, nope, invalid password, invalid password. So if somebody knows how to get by this password, this is where I can just log on, since I'm the only one using this machine. Ah, oh, I'd like to give you a thousand thank yous. It's a Windows machine. A, a bag of Hershey's Kisses. There's got to be a way. Yeah. This I can turn this on and boom, I can go on to AOL or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. Did, did, you, ne you never signed on using your camera, did you? There's a camera on this thing and it works. I, I've done zoom on this thing. Because you because in the uh, on my windows here, I don't have to even put in a password anymore. I just smile at the camera. Oh, I'd like to have that. Sure. Hey, hello, camera. No, this is like 1965, so it doesn't work on this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I would love to get that uh, that working for you, but you you called, you know, wrote me and said I can't get it going. Do you know how to get it going? And when it comes to Windows machines, I don't know crap. I don't know. Yeah, I just know less and, than as that. As time so. goes on, when it comes to Mac machines, I don't know crap. I mean, it's just more uh -huh. and more technology and stuff, and I. I'm sorry, I'm an old man. I can't put up with this <laughs> anymore. <laughs> you know, always savvy on computers and electronics and everything and all that stuff. I remember you used when laser bits were in, you were in on that. So, you know, it used I don't know. To be I, that I know how to turn one on and I know volume, volume on and off. That's how I know. That's what I know on this thing. Well, it used to be that I could, I could uh, with a Windows machine, I could really work my way around a Windows machine. And then I went to Macs. And once uh -huh. I went to Macs, I forgot how window machines worked. And uh -huh. now, now, like, I left them off at, I think, XP is where I left them off. Uh, so I, you know, outside of this one, which I do operate occasionally, uh, which is a machine over here, people can't see it. Uh, I don't, I don't use Windows machines. Just don't use yeah. them, you know. So everything I know, I know about Macs. And, uh -huh. and and they're even more complicated than they used to be. I mean, people who used to buy Macs bought them because they were so simple. 
And now yeah. they're not as they're not as simple as they used to be. Okay. Well, this one will be simple if I can get on, but I can't get on, so it's yeah. all bullshit. Yeah, so that's the way it is. It's like you do. Hey, it's always it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, it's listen, something's gonna kick me in the ass. We're running out of time for this wonderful segment and for this wonderful <laughs> this wonderful year. Oh, I can't wait. This year can't end quick enough, and I'm sure 2021 is gonna be worse. Yeah. So uh, I'll see you next year. I'll, I love right, saying. We'll I love say, next year. Love saying that. I'll see you next year. See you next year. Uh, uh, oh, I do that every day. Stop it. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, I screwed up the beginning of the program, if you were uh, watching or listening, uh, because I just pushed wrong buttons and things like that. Now, if you're, if you're watching the uh, playback of this, you're not going to see it have that problem, because uh, we solved it, okay? All right. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? It's uh, it's Thursday. Uh, I'm a little out of it today. I don't know why. I've been kind of not out of it, out of it late. Well, anyway. So uh, let's see here. Uh, outside of that, uh, not too much. We're, well, what we should do is probably let some of these people come in uh, to our uh, to our uh, uh, show. And uh, let me see here. Where are we? There we go. There we go. Let me uh, let me just put the Zoom panel on. There they are. Terry. Terry. Hello, Terry. Hi. How are you? Uh, where do, do I know you at all? No. Oh no! I just listened to you and what have you, and you were talking about not having females join, and I just thought. What the hey? And I thought I'd say happy birthday to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I used to like you on, uh, I think it was uh, XM radio and stuff. I was real sad when you left. So, yeah, so anyway, I. found you again. Good. Thank and you're you. kind of my. Uh, what? <laughs> reality check. I live reality in Wyoming. Reality check. Okay. <laughs> if I'm a reality check, you live in a world of non reality. I do. I live in Wyoming. <laughs> you live in Wyoming. I think this is the first time yeah. we've gotten a call from anybody from Wyoming. Yeah. Is it, yeah. St is it still? Uh, it's and, tough. And what's amazing is it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the time being. <laughs> how, how's the uh, how's the COVID going for you out there? Um. Well, certainly not like some of uh, the more populated states and what have you, but it's kind of bad. Yeah. Most people... Yeah. I, people are getting better about wearing masks and okay. are you, what have are you. you so. Are you staying indoors a lot? Yes. Yes. Well, I, I don't want to have to lose one of our new callers, so wear a mask and <laughs> take care of yourself. Oh, you I know? wear a mask. I'm a Tom Cruise when I go out. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's the new way of enough. putting it, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hello to everybody. Hello, Charlie Wallace. Hello, uh, Trucker hey, Steve and Sidekick Rocky. Um, also, thank you, uh, Brian Ludwig, for joining us tonight, as well as Josh Wheeler, as well as Jeffrey Stein. Jeff, let's see. Move your camera up a little bit so we can see your whole face. There we go. There you go. And, uh, Terry, you know the rules. If you've listened to the show at all, just join in whenever you want to, you know, when something appeals to you. Uh, hell, hell, hey, we haven't talked to uh, Brian in a while. What have you been up to, Brian? Yeah, not much. Just uh, more of the same. Uh, yeah. yeah still, you still yeah, not, not, a, not a whole hell of a lot has happened since I last called. Yeah, driving kids to school still? Uh, uh, not really. Not as of uh, two days ago. Why? Uh, Did they... They're going remote again. And okay. They'll stay, <laughs> so weird. they'll stay remote until the... Tentatively until the 19th of January. 19th of January. Why do they say the 19th of January? Is that something going to happen on that day? Like COVID's going on a vacation? <laughs> I don't know, right? It's just, well, they, yeah, you, you touched a nerve there. Not against you, just against the, uh, the self-absorbed district that I live in. And these people, as, they, as, it, as it's been said on Facebook, because they, they've they had some controversy on, on uh, on the news, yeah, I said to uh, people on Facebook, 
as I've lived with these people for mm. 30, over 30 years now, they are the types of people who would burn down the entire Amazon rainforest to heat their houses to keep them warm during the winter months. That's well, how fucking sociopathic <laughs> and, and foolish they are. And you thought things Don't were bad. And, 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 and Terry, you thought things were bad in Wyoming. <laughs> well, it sounds a lot like Wyoming. Yeah. How long have you lived in Wyoming? All your life? No, I come from Southern California, and I uh, graduated high school and college in uh, Reno, Nevada. And I was listening to you this morning, and um, you mentioned that you were you worked in Reno, and I thought, yep. God, yeah. I met a crowd that I can deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my my question is, why in the world would somebody leave Southern California to go to Wyoming? An earthquake. Really? Earthquake. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that big earthquake, I think it was back in 71. It scared you that much? Well, no, my mom's company moved up to Reno. Oh, I see. Okay. But then, but how'd you wind up in Wyoming? Now, wait a minute. Let me take a guess. It was a guy. No, it was a job. Oh, really? Because, well, usually it's either a job or a guy. Yeah, it was a job. You know, I, I, I knew many a woman who said, I said, how, why did you move to New York? Well, I had a boyfriend who moved out here. And then as soon as we got here, we broke up and I've been here ever since. No, I <laughs> met one. That's why I'm still here. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. So that uh, and and uh, did, you got married, I would assume. Or maybe you didn't. Uh, yeah, we did end up getting married. And uh, is everything still OK? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. How long have you been married? About 10 years. We got married the week before I went up to work up, up in Montana. Oh, really? So we got married, yeah, and then I moved up to Montana for a few years. Wow. You really want to yeah. see how remote you can be. Um, it's easy to socially isolate. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh I hope you don't mind me joining for a bit. Oh, not just, at all. Please. I'm yeah. so happy you have. Hello, Brian Neary. How are you tonight? You know, I had a, I'm good. If, if you watch that interview with Stephen Pearl, you probably wonder why he was above me and I was below. That's because the people, the kind people at Zoom have decided that's the new configuration when there are just two people. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I can then put us side by side, but I did find something I can do. Watch this. I think I can do it. Can I do it? There we go. See? I just moved me. Anybody see me do that? No. Okay. Well, uh, everybody who's watching us saw me do that. Now I'm up in the up in the corner, but I can move people to where I want them. Uh, so, uh, well, wait a minute. Is it doing it? Is it going to do it here? I don't know. There you go. Oh, oh, I, I see. Uh, you there, got the delay, huh? Yeah, you there's a the delay. delay. Yeah, I'm so trying I to. I, I was trying to see if it, if it if it worked for the. Sometimes when you do stuff that goes out uh, on Zoom, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going out on Zoom. It's just going out here. And oh. trucker Steve, where are you tonight in that wonderful truck of yours with your wonderful dog Rocky? Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Well, if you get a chance, pass if you pass through Wyoming, uh, Terry has a couple of things she wants you to pick up for her. So, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I avoid Wyoming like the plague. Why is that? Yeah. Why is that? Because In, it's so fucking windy there. I can't stand driving a truck. Oh, yeah. There. You know what Wyoming represents to me? I got a ticket in Wyoming. <laughs> There's a speed trap, a famous speed trap going through Wyoming. And everybody gets caught in it. And they just sit there writing tickets all day long, making money for whatever small town uh, this is. And I got a ticket there. And he said, well, if you don't want to pay it, just pay, just pay this amount and send the money to uh, us here. And, you know, yeah. we, we won't put a warrant out for your arrest. They know you're not going to go to court. You're no, you're through. not going to go to court. I'm just traveling through Wyoming. <laughs> exactly. Also, blue lives don't matter to me. You know, <laughs> which is the gateway to whatever the next state is over. I mean, there are a whole bunch of states there that you kind of forget as you're going through them. Like Nebraska, I think, is one of them. That's a, uh -huh. it's a, hell, a hellishly long, wide state that takes forever to get through. Yeah. 
Yeah. The yeah. whole day. And you go, is there no day. end to Nebraska? And finally, the road, there, the, the road in Nebraska is flat and straight. Yep. And takes forever to get through. That's, that's you, right. you know the road there. Every time I drive through there, I get bored to tears. And yeah, just when I 80s, and, and, and I may be wrong about this, but the minute you get out of Nebraska going west, you think it's all over, right? And you're home free. And I think you're then in Wyoming, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Which is another. And it gets real windy over there by Cheyenne. R really? Like they have a law there. For trucks, high-profile vehicles, if you're too light, you can't go on the road because the wind can blow you right over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, really? It happens all the time. Yeah. Hello. I hate Wyoming with a passion. Also, hello to our other former trucker, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you tonight? A little piss and vinegar tonight. You're piss and vinegar? Why are you piss and vinegar? I said I'm full of piss and vinegar. I just got off a three-hour city council meeting oh really and what was that about yeah yeah i got all the ass hats in the in the county coming out and they're trying to pass an emergency ordinance yeah. for going after the restaurant owners for having inside dining and a bunch of them are <laughs> wanting to uh continue their inside dining and outside dining and they can't do nothing about it so they had an emergency meeting and then all the uh no maskers and trumpers came out of the woodwork and they all came out and exercised their constitutional rights to <laughs> shit all over their council people and do you remember when there were flags and their pickup trucks and do you remember there was a time and you'll remember this josh where we protest against such things as oh i don't know the vietnam war and, oh, now, these people and, now, just and now we're protesting in the same exact fashion because we want to be able to eat indoors. Haven't these people yeah. ever heard it, of it just because one restaurant decided to, you know, mm -hmm. thumb their nose at the ordinance. Yeah. While another restaurant closed up because the owner died of COVID. And they decided <laughs> that nobody could. <laughs> I'm serious. This happened all in a week. Oh, wow. Huh? Yeah. And they decided to uh, yeah. go out there and do something about it. And they said, well, where's the ordinance? And there was no ordinance. So they decided to uh, have an emergency meeting and create an ordinance. The county wouldn't do nothing. And then all the uh, all the other people came out and, you know, said, you're, you know, you're infringing on my rights to earn a business and, you know, earn a, earn a living. And, you know, you can't do this. You're shutting me down. You're going to put me on the street. My kids are going to eat rocks for dinner and all this crap for the last three hours it's just amazing well you know what you can do with these people and then it failed which was awesome yeah but but i mean if if you got some guy who says i'm I, i'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna i don't want to be I, I have to keep my place open i'm keeping it open blah 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 you just basically say fuck you when you do reopen i'm not coming to your restaurant well it's going to be interesting what happens because the two the mayor and the councilman mm -hmm. have always been in cahoots together and they're always stirring up shit. So they stirred this up and everybody gets pissed off at them. And now they got a new council as of last week. Mm -hmm. and the other three pissed on their Wheaties. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen now. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next week. With how many of the restaurants are going to say, you know, screw you. We're going to open up and serve you know breakfast or whatever brian so, ludwig we'll is see. A, then we'll have another outbreak brian ludwig has his hand well, raised yes brian we'll have another outbreak we'll have quite a few of them well you had uh, one die tonight did the dovetailing with what kevin is saying uh and what i forgot to bring up was yeah we did have uh pro quote unquote protesters and i use that with sarcasm at in front of the school that i work for uh, a bunch of overprivileged uh karens and kyle's who were uh, sitting, standing up there? There were about thirty of them. Is, um, is, is Kyle the the male equivalent of a Karen? That's, that's what I call the male Karen. Kid. Oh, good. I like Kyle better. I've heard Kevin mm. is one of the names. Yeah, yeah Kevin. Have, is. <laughs> anyhow, yeah, I'll take anyhow, Kyle. I said they, they were there out there protesting for about three hours, maybe three and a half or so, less than four. Mm -hmm. And I said after they left that afternoon, when we did our afternoon run, I said to one of the other drivers who agreed with me. Uh, you call that protesting. Now go to Standing Rock 
Dakota Access Pipeline, the protesters that were there, those were protesters standing out there in the cold. And that one lady, that one young lady who almost had her arm blown off by the policeman, those are protesters. These pricks here, all they are are just uh, all Why they are little, little bitches. Titled yeah. What's that? What'd you say? Why need little bitches? Exactly. That's what they are. Thank you very much, yeah. Tina, ladies and gentlemen. She joined the crowd. <laughs> no, no, I am so tired. I mean, Wyoming is filled with these people. Well, you know, I mean, don't these people know about? The fact well, that, on top of it, know, the guy, one know. of them, came in the the head of the local Republican mm -hmm. uh, group here. Yeah, came up and started talking about how they're having this big. Uh, he said, "I pulled out a piece of paper and says." I've got a, what the hell did he call it? A partition to recall Newsom. I got a partition to recall Newsom, and you're going to be on it too. I said, you go take your partition. Partition. <laughs> and they're going to well, have. Well, I thought I read in the paper that uh, uh, what a judge ruled down in San Diego someplace that they couldn't close down the strip clubs. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive. Well, they're going to have a they're going to have a super spreader event here in front of the old mm -hmm. Kmart. On Saturday, and they want everybody to show up and sign that partition. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they yes. Sign the partition. Yes, Brian. And you wonder why he screams. Yeah. Yeah. And again, a dovetail with Kevin. Uh, what I would have said to him was, uh, a partition is something you do with your hard drive in your computer. A partition is something that you're advocating for. That's one. Ah, the other thing is, the other thing I gotta is, go tell them that. Damn it. Well, the the other thing is, I want to bring up is, uh, you know, I had a I had a term. I, I'm I'm like one of the proto people who made who who who, who invented my own term for uh, uh, Karens and Kyles. For Karens, I used to call them Kathy cunts, and for Kyles, I used to call them Charlie Chodes. And their children, I had nicknames for too. The little boys I would call Jimmy Jr. John Schlongs, and the little girls I would call Cuntalina Tinas. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, folks. We're we're not monetized tonight on the show. You'll see no commercials. Say that on the bus. Imagine he says that on the bus. That'd be funny. What? <laughs> I wish. Imagine you when he's leave, the kids are leaving. See you later, Connie. Yeah. See you later, Cuntalina. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We dare you. We dare you. We double dog dare you, Brian. Yeah. I'm going to be on my last day if they piss me off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. Um, do, you, do you have any kids, Tina? Tina? Terry. Huh? Terry. 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 What a, what a, I saw, the last night I saw Kevin and Tina as, as No, it's Kevin's just my husband, husband and me. No, Terry. Just you and your husband. Yeah. Oh, well, good. You're like, yeah. uh, you're like my wife and I. We are the people who have not added to this overpopulation of the planet. Thank you. Neither am I. And for no other reason than we just, neither of us Dr. ever Death wanted to give have us kids. An update? What? Can Dr. Death give us an update? Oh, you know something? <laughs> we haven't gone to Dr. Death yet. Uh, Do Dr. Death is uh, sitting right over there in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Dr. Yep, Death yep. every night gives us what we call the count and the amount. Yeah, third day in a row, we've had over 245,000 new cases. Wasn't it close to 3,000 yesterday? And th it was uh, the, the second day in a row, we had over 3,000 deaths. Damn. Yes, and today? Today was 3,249. Deaths? Deaths, yeah. Oh, my God. Are we the biggest fucking idiots in the world? Yeah. You're right. Isn't yeah. this genocide? And they're worried about eating it. They're no, worried but about it, eating it. You know what it is, it, 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 Terry? It's self-genocide. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's stupid. It's not idiocy. It's I don't self really care if it's Republicans or Trumpers that um, choose to kill each other and themselves and what have you. I just got a big problem of them infecting mm. me and other people that I care about. Well, yeah. that's that's the point. That's, that's the point. You know what? What? You know what's bizarre, Alex? What? They're all worried about eating in. I thought of something maybe that might be funny. It gives the word, the meaning of the word, the sentence, the last supper, a whole new meaning. Yeah. yeah. Right. I really want to eat it at the diner so I can get sick. I mean, well, you know, on. tomorrow night is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Uh, eh, fuck it. Yep. I'm too old to say, I, you know, it, when you were a kid, you used to go, they go, how old are you? And you would say, I'm eight and three quarters. Right. Yeah. yeah. And now you won't say you're 81 till you are absolutely 81. <laughs> I won't even say it at midnight tonight. I will say it at 10:10 10, 10 this morning. 
Yeah. When okay. were you born? That's when you were born? 10, yeah. 10? Yeah. 10, okay. 10. Okay. Play the number at, at Children's Hospital in San Francisco, which it's amazing because at Children's Hospital, there are no bike racks out in front of Children's Hospital. Now, I don't understand. Okay. Anyway. Uh what was I saying about me being uh, 81? Uh, you know, I mean, I just, it's, it's just, I am in that group that it has a comorbidity. It's called age. All right. Mm -hmm. And when I walk down the street and somebody's not wearing a mask, I feel they've got like a gun. They're pointing at my head. That's exactly right. You know, I mean, they don't, they don't think of it in any kind of neighborly way or that they are part of a society. Oh, neighborly. Uh, what? We haven't had neighborly behavior since like not long before I was born, and I'm 38, going on 39. And, and well, we and, haven't and had neighborly. neighborly behavior at least since Mr. Rogers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, uh, it, and it, in prime years, not in his older years. Yeah, right. In Mr. Rogers' younger years. Yeah, he was a real neighbor then. But he, he, I'm, 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 not, I'm not. I don't mean to disparage. I, I like the man. I mean, even, even up until the day he died, he was a good man. I'm just saying, uh, you know, society at large. Oh was yeah. More neighborly yeah. When he was younger, is what I'm saying. Well, you know, I mean, it's just that we. It, I don't know why people don't have the idea that we all live in a com huge community called the United States, and that we are all responsible for each other. And because we've this, been brainwashed. And and that the carnage that is going on right now we can blame it on trump all we want but he's only part of the problem he just denied it it was the first denier of this thing but the people who are the most guilty of the whole thing are the people who are not wearing masks who who the simplest thing we could have done to stop several hundred thousand deaths was for everybody in this country to put on a mask that would have killed the disease flat out it would have nowhere to go and we didn't do it so we killed each other and we're still selfish enough to hold these goddamn meetings like kevin is talking about where they're going oh we want to we have the right to make a living yes and i have a right to live mm -hmm. you know and and if your right to make a living impinges upon my right to live i think my right to live is more important that's just my opinion Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should die for your fucking restaurant, you know, with its... Uh, no, I've... What? Yes, Terry. I've had people, because I'll wear a mask and a face shield when I go into, like, the Walmart or the grocery store, mm -hmm. and I've had people come out of the, uh, in the aisle and literally cough on me. Really? really? I've gotten almost in a couple of fights, too. Yeah. Was it and accidental? I'm going to leave. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. You should and be. I mean, you know, you should be. Able, I don't know how to deal with these people around here. When somebody does something like that, you should be able to call a cop and have them arrested for attempted murder. Not in Wyoming, not because they won't enforce it. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's I no talk law to them. about it. I talk to them, but what There's I do no is I uh, get my phone out and I take video of it and just dare them to touch me because I'll go after them. Yeah. But that you and then I'm going to have a record that if I get sick or my husband gets sick, I'll go after to sue him. Well, you see, what's terrible about that is you have, if they feel they have some kind of rights, you've got a right to wear a mask for crying out loud to protect yourself. Yeah. And they, I mean, more people are beginning to wear them. The governor finally got it and uh, he finally put a mask order. But oh, he, he, got, he got COVID? Police, uh, are you saying he got yeah. COVID? Oh, and I bet he was a Republican governor, too. Everything's Republican. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm sitting here on your phone. Yeah, but you got all, I like, see, I need I to see talk all to these Republicans. I saw a Republican people. governor in Tennessee today on the news who was telling everybody, everybody, you got to wear a mask. That's the only way we're going to kill this thing. And four, three months ago, this guy was saying, nah, don't wear a mask. This is all a hoax. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wasn't it also... Um, was it Wyoming or Montana that did the same thing that uh, Pennsylvania, I think, did? They changed their uh, mail-in laws for uh, voting mm -hmm. and extended them nine days when Pennsylvania only did theirs for six days. They did all the absentee mail-ins and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 
and Trump won that state, but he sure as shit didn't sue him, did they? No, not no. at all. He won it, but they didn't sue by him. The way, by the way, yeah. uh, when I heard this today, I almost pissed my pants, okay? <laughs> Uh, but not that that's a big deal because, you know, with the prostate problems and everything like that, it's very easy for me to piss my pants. But I just went apoplectic. Did you hear about the auction in Atlantic City? No. Oh, oh yeah. The oh, yeah. They're, going to, they're going to implode the Trump Casino, Trump Plaza, uh, because it's being put to sleep, I guess. They're going to put it and, on TV? No, they are running an auction for you to be able to pull the plunger. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. And the auction is going to give the money to, like, needy kids or something like that. But if you want to blow up Trump Casino, <clears throat> just come up with more money than the next guy, and you get to do I wish I had a lot of fuck you money, man. Don't I'd be down there in a second. What? <laughs> I'll make it's a lot of money. money on that one. Yeah, I have no doubt. I wonder yeah. what the bidding will go for. I, I, it'll be interesting to see how much, how much it goes. Imagine for. before you blow it up, you hit one more time. And, oh, you and, hit and, and, story, more. and story number two that got to me at really happy is that the people who live down near Mar-a-Lago yeah. do not want Trump to move into their neighborhood. Yeah, he signed that. He signed that thing back in 1993 or something. Yeah, he signed it. And they're calling back, him on it. Yeah, back in 1993, that it would never be used as a residence, as a full-time residence, only as yeah. a temporary residence. Oh, and uh, he wants to move into it full time, and they say, "Uh, uh-uh, can't do it. They don't want him there. They don't want him anywhere near <laughs> them." So I figure Slovenia is probably the only thing left open for him as an option. <laughs> Oh, that, that isn't isn't, an, isn't there an island out there that Epstein had that's open now? Uh, uh, yes, I think <laughs> yeah. so. I think so. And Trump knows the place because undoubtedly yeah. he's been there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. If, they, if they televise that pulling of the plunger, whoever pulls it, to say "fuck you, Trump," and then boom, they yeah. do a I live. Take a leak on the That'd building first. I'll bet they're going to be people, Bloomberg should do. It, I bet right? there are going to be people out there watching this thing happen, cheering. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I almost but went out and bought a lotto ticket, hoping I would win. So, and I would give them all. If I if I won the lottery and I got like a couple, you know, like a, a billion dollars or something, or let's say three hundred million dollars. Okay, that's a, a good winning in the lottery. I would be yeah. more than happy to say, "Hey, here's two, three million. I want to blow this sucker up." You yep. Know? Yep. Um, and because it's going to a good cause. Is your hand up, Brian? Or are you just? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I was just going to say, trying to look um, like a moose. I seem to be. Uh, <laughs> I, I seem to be dovetailing Kevin a lot tonight. But uh, uh, regarding Epstein Island and the possibility of Trump moving there, yeah. something tells me there isn't enough Viagra in every factory <laughs> in the United States that would be able to keep this little mushroom pecker up if he had to. Uh, if if he, if he wanted to go to Epstein Island and do what Epstein was doing over there before him, yeah. It oh just, my God! Yeah, they're, they're waking his his girlfriend up like every fifteen minutes to see if she's awake or something, see if she's alive. Oh really? Yeah, in prison. The yeah, other they have real high security on her. <clears throat> oh, yeah. that one lady. Oh, yeah. Maxwell. Yeah, I don't believe yeah, he committed no. suicide too. Nah, me either. Do you think I don't he had the goods on a lot of rich and powerful people? He could have broken the whole thing wide open. And so does she. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How, well, how, the did, trial did, till July. Do you think July, you think right? Epstein was murdered? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. How many I here? Raise your hands. How many here think that Epstein was murdered? I, I think, think there's a chance he was murdered. Yeah. 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 It was odd. Honey, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Trump to put out the head. <laughs> well, or uh, well, yeah, yeah. He could, he could use, <laughs> yeah, he could use Putin as a reference for that kind of action, you know. Uh, he probably did use Putin. <laughs> Putin today did his yearly press conference. You ready for this? He does one press conference a year <laughs> around this time of the year, and he did his yearly press conference and said, "Oh, well, we didn't, we didn't hack the United States. We just didn't. Hey. No, no way. It's just." He, it's fake news. Yeah. He said he didn't poison that reporter also. Or yeah. the, the, the other guy, the candidate. Yeah. yeah. What, what, right what, he gave him a soccer ball. What do you want? But didn't he say something about, like, 
if he did or he was poisoned, it wasn't by us, but he was asking for it or something like that. He said yeah. that if he if he did it, he would have followed through. It, it oh, oh followed if, through. if I did it, it would have worked. We, he would he'd be yeah. dead by now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it would have. But yeah, they happen to be one step. We don't make mistakes. God, my nose is itching tonight. I must so be- CNN CNN just kept running all that stuff. Well, the cybersecurity stuff going on with Russia too, but. So they're they're showing all that stuff where you know Trump's just backing. Oh yeah, well Putin said that. Putin said, yeah, Putin said that he didn't interfere in the election. So why you know I believe him. Well, you know what amazes me is that, that you had this president right who said that he was protecting America and that we were protecting we were protecting ourselves against the Mexicans. Eh, that's really a big deal. We were protecting ourselves against the Chinese. Eh, that's a big deal. But we didn't do anything to protect ourselves against the Russians and the hacking. And mm-hmm. now everything got hacked, including the one place that shouldn't have gotten hacked, Homeland Security. It's Oops. amazing. <laughs> yeah. And, and the caravan. Remember the caravan? We're worried about the caravan coming. I guess it's still coming. Yeah, it's still coming. Josh, <laughs> what you, you've been quiet tonight. He's always quiet until I ask him, and then he starts talking, and then we just sit back and let him do the rest of the show. Josh, what what what's your thinking on some of this stuff, like the hacking? Uh, well, I mean, I think it's pretty sad to be honest with you. You know, I remember reading, and uh, Bob Woodward wrote a book one time uh, about Obama. I think it was called Obama's Wars. Um, so it was one of his insider books on the Obama yeah. presidency. He, he, you know, he doesn't just do that to Trump like he got accused of. But and there was some, there was a part in the very beginning about when Obama was elected, and he got his first big time briefing as as president. You know, day of the inauguration, the day after, or whatever. And they went are going over all the, you know, major terror threats and, the, you know, stuff that we'll never really know about. Right. And they got to the end and or at least what he thought was the end. And, you know, Michael Hayden, who was in the CIA director outgoing or whatever, relayed the story to somebody that he was talking about, you know, how disturbing this was. And, you know, it was worse than he thought. And they had to stop him and say, wait a minute, we we haven't even gotten to cyber yet which is our biggest threat. And that was in 2008. Right. And they were like, this is going to take up more time than the whole stuff that the, the, like the physical Osama bin Laden type threats that we just went over. I remember that, you know, guns, bombs and and the like cyber was the worst. And he was kind of known as someone who was kind of into that. I mean, you know, by, uh, authorizing us to, hack other other people you know trying to get into the north koreans and the you know iranians and stuff like that so i I don't find it that difficult to believe that trump probably let a lot of this stuff go by the wayside because you know he's pretty well known to not be very interested in foreign policy or security he's not interested in anything but himself i mean he he is right i mean that's what i'm saying it's been reported a billion times. I mean, it's been reported enough that I think we can consider it pretty reliable that he doesn't read the presidential daily brief memos that he gets to go along with right. the in-person right. thing. So he doesn't mm-hmm. dig into the details. He he he's been dis disinterested in those type of briefings and meetings. Mm-hmm. The only thing that could ever really get him interested, you know, is when they thought they could go gun somebody down and he could come down to the situation room and watch the helmet cams, you know, that, that macho type stuff seemed to get his juices going for a day. And then when that was over and it was back to the real work of national security, that's real work. And he was never interested in real work. So, you know, if you don't like Joe Biden or you don't like whoever else would have run or whatever, mm-hmm. it, it'll be nice to at least get a decent, human being, you know, right. in office that might, pay. I mean, George Bush at least paid attention to these things, right? I mean, if you think he took it overboard and all that other stuff, that's a valid opinion. That's perfectly fine. But I mean, at least he could sit up straight and keep his eyelids open while the people gave him the information, you know I mean? So that's, that's, 
we we have to get back to that and you know thankfully we got you know 35 days or whatever <clears throat> hopefully yeah yeah um i don't know whether i mean brian has got his hand up or is he no no no, oh, no you're no, just, just fooling around with your pen okay uh, look i mean is it not i mean is it not embarrassing you know to and i know the russians are good at this and this is the new thing and all that but i mean it's still it's still embarrassing I mean, well, I think I think I what, can't believe that we let it get out. To, I, I mean, I can't believe we let it get out, to be honest with you. If I were president of the United States, I'd be downright. I'd be almost more mad that we were letting it get reported than I would that it fucking happened because it's yeah. completely embarrassing. It's going to shake people's confidence. It's going to let the world know that we're vulnerable. I mean, it, it that's that's a joke. I mean, you know, I mean, it's almost bad for national security to let it get out. I right. mean, the people don't always have to know everything. Right. Yeah. It's bad enough to get hacked, but then to get it out to the mainstream where everybody can know about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it got out. I don't remember, but it's like, I mean, you know, well, didn't, didn't somebody the, to talk did, about that? Didn't somebody in the government announce that it had happened and that they suspected? I, I mean, happened? maybe they did. So, you know. Good for their transparency. transparency, I guess. A lot of people really love that shit. I'm not one of them. <laughs> they, but, since, yeah. since when? I mean, since when in this administration did the word transparency ever become apparent? Okay. I mean, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. we're, uh, all of a sudden, we're getting transparent. And then he says, Man, he says, in most cases, it was somebody pissed off at him that leaked it out. He was as quiet about this as he has been about COVID. Yeah. His. Uh, the only tweets he puts out is how he was robbed of the election. That's the only thing yep. he seems obsessed with. He doesn't care that three hundred, that th you know, over three, right. what thirty seven hundred people died yesterday. He doesn't care that uh, we hold the world record for the amount of cases in one country. He doesn't care about any of that. All he cares about is, hey, I got robbed. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. You know, wasn't that? That's true. Yeah, yeah. Pence puppet ain't much better either. He was campaigning today in Georgia. Uh, who, Pence? Pence puppet, yeah. Pence puppet. Yeah. Yeah, Pence uh, was, uh, and he's also traveling, going to go travel around the world or something. He's going to be on a goodwill mission, I think. Of some <laughs> so he's going he's gonna to get a shot first and then go do that. Yeah, he's going to get a shot. Trump said he's not getting a shot because he doesn't feel he should be pushed to the front of the line. You know. So great God. Yeah. See, that's he, already got it. That he didn't really have it. Yeah. Yeah. What would he need an yeah. inoculation <laughs> for if he actually had the disease? Yeah. Why does he need the shot? Well, that's why I think he said, I don't need it. You know, so I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to put myself out front. Well, Pence is right there with his arm out, you know. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. I'll take his. Yeah. Well, he was, he was the head of our, uh, he saved our lives. He was the head of our uh, task force. Our coronavirus mm. task force. So what? So what do you think is going to happen down there in Georgia? Oh God! Please let it be the Dems. Please. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, it just I don't know. I just uh, I don't know whether he's fucking it up or everybody's oh, being. Oh, we quiet. hope he <laughs> is messing it up. <laughs> we hope. We hope. Yeah. yeah. I hope I hope it's it's quiet enough that you know the Democrats are going to come out and are there any are, again, there, are there are there any polls yet that have any indication of how that whole thing is? I kind of hope not. I don't want to yeah. be pulled out. I'd like to see him just yeah. come out and beat the shit out of him and then say go home. Yeah. What I read was a lot of people are showing up to vote though, and yeah. that might yeah. be a good sign. Yeah. yeah. The, the pre-vote. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and and he was there, and they kept having this tight shot on pens but every time they backed off it looked like there might have been almost 900 people there i think maybe 800. almost 900 it didn't look like that many people to me what it, that's what i said that was, okay, maybe 800 or 500 yeah but they kept it, it having didn't look these like tight it was real crowded and yeah. then it would back off and they'd go right back to the tight shot uh, so, what's you know, what's yeah, that I'm woman's talking. name who's running the the sink of the butt kisser who uh, no, who Loffler? oh she's yeah, amazing Loffler. Wow. Sure, her with a KKK leader, former KKK leader or something well, like both that. Both of them both of them are a piece of work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I say something and I, I please tell me if I'm being sexist here, Terry. Uh, uh, my new favorite channel is OAN. 
Uh, have you have you anybody looked at OAN? And if yeah. Now what? Now you're, now you're no. And what am now I? You're leaving Newsmax. What am I? Yeah. What what am, what am I talking girl. about over at OAN? Hot babes girl. on the news. Lady. Every one of the anchors are women, and they are hot women. Yes, they They're, are. It, they were not hired for their news reading ability. Okay. Well, it isn't really news, <clears throat> but they have radio ads. On the radio. Oh, really? Local red, yeah. And to me, that's very concerning because well, this is people that are way out. Well, there there awful. is a blonde who is on at six o'clock oh. every night. That's the, do, that's the one I think. Is, yeah, uh, yeah. All you have to do is Google O A N anchors. Yeah. Well, which um, which one was which one is, uh, is that? A whole bunch of different ones of them. Yeah, what, just the first page, right when it popped up, all these girls. What, what's the one that? What's the one that starts with an S? Uh, the name. The bottom right. Stephanie one Myers. The one that always goes Stephanie Myers. Stuff. No, Stephanie. No, not Myers. Stephanie Myers. Stephanie Stillwell or uh, Myers. Oh. No, it isn't Myers. Oh, okay. She's the only S. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, she. This woman was. I mean, she's. You know, I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm still a guy, <laughs> you know. Hello, and, <laughs> and 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 I like uh, you know I watch MSNBC and I think there are a lot of fine women over there doing broadcasting who are <laughs> very educated and uh, uh, have a great history on, in too. the political don't business. Don't let one, you're letting one pass you. They don't look that good though. Just, just tell me but, sexist, Terry. Oh. What, who, That's okay. I, who yeah. who is talking? Who who's talking? Somebody's got some noise going. Oh, oh sorry. That's my son. Maybe I don't know. At least. Yeah. By the way, I want to want you to notice, Tony. Just for a moment, move out of camera range. Just move out of camera yeah. range. They're, you know, they're right next to each other on my screen. Yeah, on the bottom. That, that is a green screen that Ray has of uh, his wallpaper and his background. <laughs> Other way, Ray. Uh, and his Other mother, way. his mother down there his in mother, the yeah. corner. Okay, Tony, mm -hmm. come back now. Thank God she went to sleep, Alex. What, what, oh. I heard a lot about, or just listening to the program, heard a lot about that uh, wallpaper. But, uh, which so one is that? Which it. one is that? Chanel, Chanel Ryan. Oh, geez. Now, you see, they put those women up there doing the news, and I'm ready. Hey, come on, I'm a guy, you know? I mean, hell. She looks like the one that goes to the uh, press conferences. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, the, none of them are very good at what they do. It's of not, course not. But, but you don't care. You know. <laughs> uh, so, do you listen to what they say or do you just look at them? Oh, I don't listen to what they say. No. <laughs> yeah. the sign of CNN yeah, on and you watch them. About. Because the concern I have, especially here where yeah. I live, is they may be looking at them, but they're also listening to what they're saying. Because over, over at Newsmax, the best yeah. they can come up with... I mean, it's with, getting scary. Over mm -hmm. at Newsmax, the best they can come up with is, what's his name, uh, the former press secretary to Trump. Um, i trying to remember. Scar his, huh? No. No, not, the Sheen guy that was on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, him. him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean Spicer. It's Sean Spicer. Yeah, Spicer. He's, Spicer. He's got a show. You want to hear about sheer idiocy? Watch that <laughs> sometime. But then I watch it for about five minutes. I go back to OAN. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, I think if if MSNBC <laughs> wants to get better ratings, one of the things they should do is probably take a page out of that you know, book. When I hear that name, Sean Spicer, I think of that skit they did a while, like not long after Trump got elected, on mm -hmm. Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. <laughs> the, the, what's her, what was her name? McCarthy, that comedian. Uh, oh, Melissa yeah. McCarthy. <laughs> Melissa she McCarthy. Oh, yeah. She, she, did, she, she did Sean Spicer, didn't she? <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that, yeah. when, he, when he actually yeah. chewed like gum or something, then she exaggerated by having like this big ass wad of gum that was almost as big as she was. Yeah. <laughs> she takes a bite out of it. <laughs> she chases everyone in the room. She did a good job. Yeah. yeah. She was care. good. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. But I laughed my ass off. Yeah. Mm. No, anyway, um, um, you know, we, we all I'm saying is we've only got a few more days, folks. Hang in there. Just hang in there. And oh, it's just so, getting so tough. Yeah, but I mean, to hang in. Yeah, it, I know. It, it, because you, you really, once I've had hives. Okay. What? Really? 
Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I just... Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my my wife like, gets oh, apoplectic man. about this, but she ain't grown any zits or anything, you know? No. Yes, yeah, so Char Charlie's got his hand up. Charlie. Yeah, the problem is we got, what, 33 days, and we could have 100,000 people die in that next 33 yeah. days. Yeah, and there's other damage he can do as well. A lot uh, of damage. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think of who he's going to pardon. You know. Uh, well, he'd get, he'd get my respect, though, if he pardoned uh, Ed Snowden and uh, uh, Julian Assange. Well, he might do that. There, well, there have been speculation as to whether or not he would. Well, Snowden... Uh, it, of course, he can be pardoned, but he can be pardoned for potential federal crimes because he hasn't been charged with anything, has he? Snowden? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, I think they tried to... Yeah, they, they charged him. Oh, yeah, they did I charge think he's him. been charged. Okay, oh, well, yeah. that would be... But, but do you really think Trump would uh, would pardon Snowden? Mm, I think I, so. I, 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 somebody said he should pardon Bill Cosby, but I then I had to point out I don't think that was a federal crime, was it? No, no. no state. So, uh, uh, but uh, uh, do you think he can pardon himself? No, I don't think so. Well, he could try. I, yeah, I've been listening to. And he's got state charges against him too, so there's that. Yeah, the, yes, New York and New, New York, Jersey are hard. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the charges against him nationally, federally, probably aren't as uh, telling as the ones that are sitting around here in New York. They're waiting yeah. for him to no longer be president and then hit him with these things. Uh, what, what do you think about what do you think about the way Biden is handling the Hunter Biden situation? Uh, he came out today on uh, with uh, Stephen Colbert and commented on it. And he said, look, I'm a father, you know, and I'm with my son all the way, and I hope he's going to be okay, you know. But he didn't indicate that he would do anything about it because he's president. He would let the, the law take care of itself, you know, and yeah. that he has faith in his son and that his son did nothing wrong. And I thought that was a pretty brave thing to do because really he could have said, I really don't want to comment on that. And everybody would have understood. But, he, no, he actually commented on it, and he did it in a very paternal way you know of a father and son and you know he feels he's a really bright kid and you know he's sorry that he's in the middle of this because he wouldn't be in the middle of this he said if i didn't become president of the united states they're only going after him to get to me and i thought that was a that was a fine answer you know but uh anyway um so let me see here. What else is happening? Anything else happening in the news that I have, have completely forgotten about? Probably everything. Well, it's been a huh? I was just going to say, it's been a while since I was on here. Did you ever talk about how the, the, the way that the pedantic and the condescending way in which Pelosi's been addressing reporters and whatnot concerning her failed failure to, to uh, reach the previous stimulus deal, which was like $1.8 trillion, and instead settling for the 900 And she's telling these reporters, <laughs> oh, just calm down. We're, do we're doing the best we can. And I'm thinking, bitch, you're playing it. You're playing checkers on a chessboard. Well, here. I'm a little you're, kinder. I'm a little. Ki I'm, a, I'm a little kinder to Pelosi than you are. Uh, I, I feel that for a while she was doing a great job. You know, she she was holding the the infidels away from the gates. Okay, um, and had a great attitude about it. But I think at this point, now that we've got a president who's a, a Democrat and we've got a lot of the you know, the reins of power. I think it's time for her to step down from that position and let somebody a little younger, a little, little with fresher ideas take over. The same Plus, thing, and another, I think the same thing with Schumer. There's another development occurring. What were you going to say, Brian? Uh, there's Brian, another development Br occurring. Br Brian, uh, well, uh, oh, I was saying Brian Neary, but go ahead. No, 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 I, I agree with Schumer, too. I, I think both of them, we need to get some fresh faces in there. I think when him and... Pelosi started getting along uh, together on the Trump stuff. It sort of wore everybody out. Well, yeah. I mean, when there was a Trump to fight, I think she was valuable. Yeah. There is no longer a Trump to fight. Now we need somebody in there that's going to win over the country, mm -hmm. you know, and win over the hearts and minds. How, how do you yeah. feel about that? Uh, 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 Brian, you have your hand up. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, there's also a movement that's starting to gain traction uh, about 
there being no confirmation for Pelosi as speaker by, especially by these uh, 15 or 10 squad members, quote unquote, mm -hmm. until Medicare for all is publicly placed for a vote on the floor of the House just to see where everyone stands on the issue publicly so that everyone can, you know, know where they stand. In other words, no, you're, you're, you're talking about a starter dose, as it were, of, of just feeling it out and seeing how it rests. And, whether... and apparently there are enough squad members, enough progressive Democrats who have just been recently elected, among which obviously includes AOC, mm -hmm. um, to, uh, you know, withhold her confirmation as uh, the House Speaker, which would then go to McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy, if she weren't yeah. confirmed. But, you know, you know, if she's not going to if she's not going to even allow Medicare for all to be placed for a vote, knowing that it'll likely fail, mm -hmm. um, we might as well have Kevin McCarthy. I, Kevin think, I, I think it wouldn't hurt to hold a vote on that. I don't think it'll pass, but, you know, uh, uh, at least we get a, we, we're testing the waters and seeing where we're standing at this moment, and then we can... In a pandemic, too. Yeah, adjust from there. Yes, uh, Charlie. The problem is that's just shooting off your nose despite your face, because it's not going to do any good to win the, the, the two Senate seats in Georgia if we're going to let Kevin fucking McCarthy be the Speaker of the House. How is he, how is he any worse? He, he wouldn't be. He can, because there's lots of things that they can get done besides Medicare for all. There's all yeah. kinds of shit that needs to be done that won't get done because the Republicans in the Senate won't ever. The House passed like 350 bills over the last and two they're, years. And they're sitting there. In that the, the Senate won't even take up. Yeah. So, I mean, he's right. I mean, the question is, yes, we want Medicare for all, but that's not the only thing we need. You know, and there are a lot of other things we need as well. And that's if we had the Senate, we'd had another another stimulus back in May. Yeah. The House yeah. passed the stimulus in May. Yeah. I mean, we we right now. There are Americans. I mean, you're talking about. Kevin was talking about this restaurant owner protesting. Oh, my. I'm just going to bring that up. Yeah. 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 It trickles down. Yeah. I mean, where's the money for him? You know, where's the money? And he would shut up in a second if there was money yeah. there for him. Okay. But where's the money for him? Where's the money? And here's the one that's really sickening for the states. They aren't yeah. giving yeah. any money to the states. Now, my question is how are these states supposed to? Give people the vaccine. How are they supposed to keep their police departments open and their fire departments going? And defunding so, the police. Yeah, I mean, by not... <laughs> um, and all these states, the virus has cost them a bloody fortune. Here in New York, there's a $15 billion deficit that we're probably going to have to take care of through higher taxes and a whole bunch of other things. And if only the government would give these states money, you know, I mean, how do they expect that each of these states are going to administer just the vaccination programs? Money doesn't come out of thin air, and the only people that print money is the federal government. Federal government. You know? Uh, uh, that was one of the things that they were saying at this meeting tonight. They're, they were all complaining because you're shutting us down because you're getting money into the state from the federal government if you shut us down absolutely bullshit no is it really it's absolute bullshit is you know, that that newsmax and that other one oac or whatever OAS. News? OAS. is that where it's coming from that no i mean yeah. they they pass along a lot of false information the what who, who who's talking back there I'm sorry. I accidentally put the volume on, and my son is sitting behind me. No, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say something. He like grounded. yelled. <clears throat> if he wants to join in, he's 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 allowed to. You know. He won't want to. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah. So I mean, uh, I mean, it, it, we've got to do something about the states getting money. I mean, they're yeah. just they're going to go broke. And the thing is. You know, I think it was, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, the head of the Senate? Uh, Durbin. Uh, no, not the head. Uh, uh, McConnell. 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 Said, yeah. uh, well, let them go bankrupt. Oh, let them go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. Well, you let them all go bankrupt, and what ha what goes bankrupt at the same time? The United States of America. 
Yeah. You know, you can't have states going bankrupt like crazy. You completely undermine the, the financial uh, uh, stability of this country. So, I mean, and then they say, oh, you know, we're, gonna, we're fighting over whether we should give everybody $600 a month or $800 a month. For, or no, an, a six hundred dollars stimulus check or an eight hundred dollars yeah. stimulus well, check. You have other countries in the and world I'm thinking to myself, what is? Dollars. Where do they live? Where? What six hundred or eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. going to get anybody? Okay, yeah. especially if they've been out of work since March. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. A waiter at a restaurant who hasn't worked at the restaurant since March. Tell me how that six. How long is that six hundred dollars going to last? Probably a week. If that, yeah. you've got other countries paying their citizens two grand a month or a month, a month, not just one stimulus. Every no, fucking month. month, the Canadians get two thousand dollars each. Really? I, yes. I think they. I don't think they do anymore, but they did until a couple of months ago, right? This shows you how much of a rapacious oligarchy we live in. So, yeah. <laughs> put yeah. box on both political parties for in France. They get two grand a month too. In, mm -hmm. my, my relatives in France, everyone everyone gets about two thousand dollars a month, and, and we don't get zilch, right? We're still waiting for six hundred. It's going to hurt us in the long run. Well, I mean, you know, let's face it: the stimulus money that you give them is going to work its way into the population. Yeah. It's going to go to businesses and stores and restaurants and whatever, yeah. or, or just you know what. So. It, really, that money, it's not like it evaporates. It goes into people's pockets and then disappears. It funnels out into the rest of the population and helps everybody else. The $600 that that person gets, that $600 goes to somebody else who then spends it somewhere else who then spends it somewhere else, and it keeps money circulating. You want to uh, know something, Alex? Yeah. This is why I hate this. I don't want to sound greedy. This is why people don't want to, you know what? It's like if I wanted to sell a comic, say, books, I don't want to have to claim taxes and everything. Why? My tax money's not even, they're not doing shit for anybody. With our money. Exactly. Thank you. It's like, you know what? You tax me enough. You get it. I don't mean it like that, like Trump, but it's like, well, this is blame these people who are doing, like, say, if you get a painter who comes in. I, I think, I think the state of New pay. York, the, yeah, state, right. the state of New York, we're certainly getting our money's worth right now. I mean, considering the way the state is uh, dealing with the COVID crisis and the amount of testing that we're doing. Uh, they're spending the money well, okay? Money they don't have, okay? Money they're going to have to come to us and try and get eventually. No, but, I don't think go to the Hamptons and find it. I'm but, sure they'll find an abundant supply of it. But when, there. You're, when you're doing 150,000 tests a day, that ain't cheap, you know? Well, I was reading in the stimulus package, at least what they're leaking out, they're saying New York is going to get funding because if they don't, the MTA is going to lay off workers. In January or something. Yeah, but they don't care yeah. in Washington. They, they, no, they don't. New York, You're right. They, in New York, they, we're a bunch of we're a bunch of those big city people, right? You know. And, and you and, know what? Like they ask them, how do they come up with the number six hundred? Like you said, did it just fall out of the sky? Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anybody know? Uh, Josh, where do they get six hundred dollars? Where do they figure it's six hundred? Can't even pay rent with that. I honestly, don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's and, half of twelve hundred they gave is, last time. Is that supposed to shut us up from complaining? Is that what that's Pretty all much. about? Ooh, you know, yes, Je uh, Charlie. The six hundred dollars comes from the original nine hundred billion dollar stimulus packet had one hundred and sixty billion dollars to give to the states to pay for all of their COVID expenses. And this new compromise, they were saying, don't give that money to the states. Use that for the stimulus. And, and the original stimulus cost $320 million, so they got half of the 20, 320 okay, million, so which is half who, of the 12,000. Whose crappy idea? Whose crappy idea was that? I, don't I know. think that was McConnell's. Was it McConnell's? Mm -hmm. He had a very, very, actually, I think his was um, let's protect all businesses so mm -hmm. no one can sue anybody. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, to hell with the states. I know in Wyoming, they have laid off a bunch of people, state government and local governments, right. a bunch of people. Right. And the businesses. I mean, this is a dead economy. Hmm. It's a failed state. We live in a failed state. Trump. Yeah, I don't get it. Well, you know, I mean, uh, and, and yet there are those people who think Trump was wonderful. 
I, I don't yeah, understand. They do. It. I don't understand it. I mean, and I'm, they haven't I, worked in months, and they think he's just the bee's knees, and I'm just going like. Well, I mean, they say, oh, he's been good, he's been good for the economy, but the fact of the matter is, he hasn't been because he didn't no. attend to the COVID crisis, and the COVID crisis is the main reason we have a financial problem in this country now. It's the reason why people are out of work. It's the reason why we have soup kitchens and soup lines. And, you know, I mean, you see those lines of people waiting for food in, li in lines of cars? Yeah. Oh, Our man. Yeah. There was over another, what, quarter million people, over a quarter million people had applied for unemployment again. Oh, really? Excuse me. I'm, <laughs> Mike. Over 335,000 or something. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Trump is better. going to be the first president since 1900 or something that, that is going to leave office with fewer people employed than when he took office. Mm. No matter what happens over the next 30 years. He got well, something it, done. So, How so, can you say but, he didn't do nothing? Well, who are these people then that think Trump is a good idea? People that were out of work in the first place? Oh, no, this is help. oil and gas, man. They just yeah. think he's the bee's knees. Up there? Oh, yeah. Oil and gas. Yeah. And this whole town is like shut down. There is no economy here. There's not. nothing. Now, what town and are you in? What town are you in in Wyoming? Unless you don't want anybody to know. <laughs> well, I'm in southwestern, and it's uh, it's uh, you know coal, um, Trona, mm -hmm. uh, and oil and gas. Those are the big industries. And do those people support Trump? Oh, oh yeah. the, oh, this yeah. is this used to be a very democratic um, mm -hmm. uh, county. And now it's so Trumpy. Incredible. I mean, so what yeah. happened? What Incredible. happened? And this is a good question. What happened that made these people go from being Democrats to whatever they are now? I think it's because you had Sinclair Broadcasting oh. buying all these little radio stations oh. in the Midwest in this area, and they just speak the shit. I mean, they just well, pull it's... shit out of their ass. This is I very... told me that Nancy Pelosi took $1.5 billion out of Social Security for the impeachment. And my job was like, <laughs> on the ground, like, what the just makes it I up. thought it was for ice cream, but it was for the impeachment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, and I'm going like, I, I started searching this and I mean, it was some bullshit website, well, what's, but what's... they take it and now that's like, they believe it. Well, what's interesting? And it's like they can't think. What's interesting it's very is, scary. is Sinclair was a, is a real problem. Sinclair is a, in case people don't know, is a broadcasting organization that bought up a lot of TV stations in this country and a lot of radio stations in this country. Yes. And their newscasts have news clips on them that are sent out from the central office that were made up as kind of propaganda. And the people who sometimes these are the only stations in a whole area, yep. like maybe in your area where you live, it may be the only TV station. Am I right about that? Um, I don't over, know. Over, yeah, over air here it would be Sinclair. Yeah, and that's yeah. where the only place people get news. So if that's the only place they get news, and they rely on that news, they think that what they're getting is the truth when they're getting complete, absolutely twisted, lying newscasts and it's 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 that's one of the reasons we have such a misinformed uh, country and you say that that's the reason you think why your area went from democrat to whatever they are now yeah entirely possible i i've been yeah. into well, part but, of wyoming I mean, it, it, but you know wyoming. it's also mining ahead, and oil and gas yeah. and, and right, what have right, you right. And i mean in wyoming though the 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 two main industry would be energy and agricultural cattle, uh, other forms of farming and so that, which he tied himself to, you know, rather well. I mean, he's handed more free money out farmers of all various types than anyone uh -huh. since FDR, for example. I mean, that's that's a fact, you know, no doubt there. And if you look at the electoral map in Wyoming, which I did, you know, the only county that, that Trump didn't win was... Eton. Up in up in the northwest corner, you know, at Grand Teton and and Yellowstone, mm -hmm. and that's because most of the people that live up there are transplants from somewhere else because they work for the National Park Service and other people support two of the largest well, national parks in the United States. <laughs> up at the Jackson Hole. Oh, yeah. so, 
Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, so he those runs. people are technically Wisconsin residents, but don't necessarily have or Wisconsin, Wyoming residents, but don't but bring some of their East Coast and California politics where a lot of your park rangers came from was you yeah. know, east of the Mississippi and places mm-hmm. like that, educated and you know, went on to work for the NPS and, and now yeah. live there year round in park service settlements and whatnot, but you know they can vote. So I mean that's how you know, Wyoming got that way, but I mean, Wyoming is is just old school. Yeah, you know, Republican. Oh, but Montana I mean, went Lynn from Cheney, kind there, of a but, Democratic I mean, to a Republican. Yeah, but how do? Right. Why did we lose them, and how do we get them back? Uh, I've been asking the Democratic Party here. That well, for a I, while. I, I, I mean, know. people are sick and tired this of hearing it, but I'm just program. telling you the way that you don't. The way that you don't get them back in Wyoming is to argue about who can go to the bathroom where. I'm just telling yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll tell you, I know where every good sagebrush is in this, this state. state. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you start talking, you start using catchphrases like defund the police. People in Wyoming aren't going to vote for Democrats. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, think that was a mistake. You know. And if you want to get that sort of stuff done, some major changes, that that's fine. I thought they would have uh, kind of. Might have been, I'm just surprised they didn't kind of. Rhetoric like, needs to change. That they didn't kind of like Biden because Biden does talk to the common man. You know, yeah. he's not exactly, you know, big city feller. You know, uh, but people here don't listen to like a balanced. Um, okay, they don't get the news, news or what have you. Yeah. Yeah, it's not balance. It is like ultra right wing. Haven't they? I think there's yeah, been I mean, some. I, pro- right, I, mean, I don't. I don't. Mm. Obviously, don't live in Wyoming, but my wife and I have traveled all over Wyoming extensively, and yeah. visited all the parks and all kinds of other places in Wyoming quite a lot. And I mean, so you know, and we've gone through all the little itty bitty towns. I'm talking towns in Wyoming where a hundred people live and all that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, yeah. Remember, I got a I, ticket I there. I don't bring my politics up when I'm out there. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got a, I got a ticket real there. American. I mean, yeah. Well, there. I the, certainly don't bring my politics up because <laughs> I might get slugged. Well, I mean, we'll come out there yeah. and protect you, Terry. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. I got my phone. I'll just as soon as I yeah can. I don't know I yeah I've I've been like and then you know tried to do with the county uh, Democratic Party and what have you and yeah. these people yeah hey they listen just want to sit around a bit listen we've run out of time here and listen Terry okay. please call us again you've been terrific well I tried to get my friend to come with me yeah. She's yeah. down in Arizona right now, so I'll bug her for tomorrow night and what well, happens. But thank you for letting me uh, participate call, because please, I we, really needed this. Will, will you do it? Will you do it again? Promise me you'll do it. Oh, again. I, li- I listen to your podcast every day. Well, then and please. This is the first time I did the. Do it again. Uh, you've been ter- you've been terrific. I think everybody. Will oh, agree. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, Charlie, thank you, and thank you to uh, uh, Steve and uh, Rocky. There's Rocky. Oh, thank you, Rocky. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and uh, Brian, uh, thank you. And thank you to Josh and other Brian. Thank you. Kevin, thank you. Thank you, Tony, and with that horrible wallpaper. And to Ray with the horrible wallpaper uh, and a green screen. But uh, that's how he got it. He waited for you to move out of the picture for a while there. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Everybody wave a big wave goodbye. And we'll wave back at you, okay? There they go. They're starting to disappear. I better uh, get myself on here. Anyway, boy, that was a good show tonight. Good people. And Terry, uh, gee, nice addition. Huh? 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 Would you agree? Anyway, listen, we got to go. We're running late. Uh, we'll uh, be back again tomorrow night, same time at uh, 1030. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. And wear a mask, okay? Bye.